Hello everyone, today at Ram News we have Marta Guerrero. She's the mayor of West Sacramento and we are so excited to ask her a few questions and uh, we're excited that she allows us to ask those questions directly and have time for us. Marta, my first question maybe will be, uh, like I can, I'm totally excited about women in leadership and we have more women right now in our area. So what do you think, what is the difference between women's leadership and men's? Women's leadership is about making progress and change. It's been many years where we have been behind the scenes, not getting leadership roles, not being chief executives. And now there's a push for women to be more in a leadership role. And we've had ideas and sometimes dismissed. Mm -hmm. So now that we're in those ideas, what we want to do is see that change happen so that there's equity for the women, for those that are um, underserved, and for those that need that additional hand up and support, which is I've, what I feel I've received over the years in my lifetime. Grateful for that. I see. Uh, what are your number top, let's say, top three priorities on your post as a mayor? Well, my top three priorities in my post is to provide additional support for our underserved community members mm -hmm. by helping them with job opportunities and helping our small businesses to be successful. Mm -hmm. So that's um, pretty significant. The other is our infrastructure needs in our city mm -hmm. and making sure that we take care of those that are serving the people mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, making sure that we have transportation, um, the public servants who are like police and fire, making sure they're taken care of right. here in our city. And my third major priority is transparency so that people get to see where our money is being spent and can provide input and mm -hmm. um, are engaged because we are going to be receiving a lot of federal funding and some more state funding so what I've seen is an interest to put more of that money in homelessness, um, additional support for education, businesses, mm -hmm. and that's all in addition to improving our quality of life. So that transparency right. is going to generate more engagement and involvement to make sure our funding is spent in a way that is uh, accountable to what the community's interests are. It's really important, I think. Is yes. it, uh, is it um, possible for everyone to see where is uh, the money go uh, or like is, it will be the transparent website, how, how it will work? We are working on, at this point, a more transparent website. Wow. And what I'd like to do, which I need to get another vote, is to establish a fiscal accountability commission. Ooh. So we have members of the community who are going to take a look at where the funding is going and help guide us to be able to say this is how we should make it more clear to the public. I see. So I need more votes for that. Oh, uh, we can help you, I think. <laughs> we have a big Slavic community here in West Sacramento and yes. in general in the Sacramento area. That's why my next question will be about Slavic community. So we yes. have a very, uh, Sacramento is a wonderful city. We have so many different communities and I love that you are uh, acknowledging that we need to help uh, those who are in min like minorities. Uh, what do you think, how Slavic people can help you and what would you, maybe you have some specific programs or maybe some ideas how you can help th those kind of uh, people in general in the communities or how to create a better environment in, this, in that area? I agree. I think when I ran, I ran as an independent voice. Mm -hmm. I ran and not expecting any city council member to be telling me what to do or even the mayor telling me what to do. And I'd like to get somebody on city council mm -hmm. who is on, running for the vacant seat on August 31st okay. to be that independent voice because I know that person is going to be held accountable by the people. Mm -hmm. And so in looking to see who's going to be running, find the voice that's going to be the independent voice for the people. And that is, I think, the best choice. I so see. in August 31st, vote for that person. Yeah, I think it's important message for all our Slavic people because unfortunately when times go to the voting, they just like, um, okay, I don't have time. But it's very important because your future depends on who That's right. are you voting, either not, you will still get the result. But unfortunately, the result could be not really great if you will uh, ignore the right. voting process. And uh, what will be your last message? Because a lot of people right now, they really tired, they want pandemic and everything you know everyone's thinking back to normal back to the uh, yeah. things that was before the COVID. do you, first of all do you believe that we can turn things back and second what would you wish to the people who are really a little bit depressed and thinking that um, their life went another way it's been a long year 
of us not being out doing the things we were used to doing, not being able to spend time with family like we did. Uh, businesses have been struggling and what we need to do to get back mm -hmm. is to follow any medical advice that we are receiving to stop the spread of COVID so that we can open up all the businesses. For now, the vaccine I hear is helping. Mm -hmm. And so getting, you know, getting vaccinated has been what I heard a very good idea by our medical professionals and also that helps open up everything. So Governor Newsom mm -hmm. says June 1st, everything will be going back to normal, wow. schools can reopen fully. And I think getting out back on that track is extremely important for our own mental health. I know, I know. That's, I think even working somewhere and with the people is much better than just staying locked at, a, at your home. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much for your... Uh, I can feel the positive energy and I think <laughs> that the changes that you will make on your post will be really impressive. So thank you so much for thank your time. Thank you so much.